Bagradabug is a new invasive pest in California that was first reported in Los Angeles in 2008. It is now spread to several counties in Southern California and those on the Central Coast. It is a small hemipteran bug native to Africa and feeds mainly on cruciferous hosts like coal crops, sweet alyssum and wild mustard. It also feeds on a variety of other host plants that include cantaloupes, cereals, cotton, green beans, peppers and potatoes. Bagrada bug adults are about one-fifth to one-third of an inch long and one-eighth to one-sixth of an inch wide. They are black with orange and white markings. They resemble harlequin bugs but are much smaller. They are frequently seen in copulating position wandering around with their posterior ends attached together. Females are larger than males and deposit clusters of eggs on the foliage or in the top layer of the soil. Each female lays an average of 95 eggs in its lifetime. Eggs are whitish and barrel shaped which turn orange as they mature. They hatch in 3 to 6 days. Nymphs go through 5 instar stages before they become adults. Nymphs can be recognized with their dark heads and reddish orange abdomens. White and black markings develop in later instars. Bagrada bugs suck plant juices using their needle-like mouth parts. Damage symptoms include stippling with necrotic spots, stunted growth, loss of apical dominance, formation of multiple heads, and death of the plant. Bagrada bugs can survive cold winter or nighttime temperatures by entering the top layer of the soil around the crops. They are generally a problem starting from early to mid-spring depending on environmental conditions. Bagrada bugs are effectively managed with synthetic pyrethroid, neonicotinoid and organophosphate insecticides. Research with organically approved options is underway. Entomopathogenic fungi such as Buveria bassiana, Metarhizium anisopliae and Isaria fumosuraceae and botanical insect growth regulator azodirectin can also be used in organic agriculture after verifying their label status. Regular monitoring, removal of weed hose, vacuuming or mechanical removal of egg masses of early infestations can help minimize the risk of this pest.